Hey guys, welcome back to another session of Facebook Live Q&A. Um, today we just only have Keith. Michael was scared, so he didn't come in. Uh, what was going on with Mike? Uh, Mike unfortunately had some machinery that broke down in his shop, and when the machine's down, he's not making any money, so the repair guy was supposed to be there at two-ish and yeah. trying to get his machine back up online so he could keep... <laughs> Keep pumping out some parts for us. Excuses, so. yeah. exactly. Excuses, poor Sam. He just want to see how we do by ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, let's see. I'm the real this. guy here. Try this. I run the show. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys know how it works. Um, basically, the way that it works is I'm gonna go ahead and read off some that we have off of uh, that you guys send in to us via messages, Instagram, Facebook, um, and as we get it going, go ahead and shoot in your messages, and we'll answer your questions live. I'll be checking on here for you as well. Also, Merry Christmas, and we hope you guys have a great holiday upcoming and be safe. Um, what are you doing for the holidays? What am I doing for holidays? Pretty much staying at home. Uh, we've had kind of our little family get together with my five daughters and son-in-laws, and we did our family thing, and now it's the the what are, well, the outlaws. The other side of the family gets to gets to have the kids, so it'll just, I think it's only going to be the wife and I and one of our kids, the rest are all out running around, so it's going to be nice. Gonna fire up the old camp chef with a big prime oh. rib and call it good. <laughs> oh. I love the camp chef. I think that food, oh man, like just, you just did a podcast too, didn't you? On uh, Excel Boats Presents on the X Powered by My Buddy Motors with J. Paul Jackson and Ryan Neely, right? That did. That was, uh, it was a good time. I learned a lot from Ryan, a little bit from uh, J. Paul about how to cook your cook your wild game, especially waterfowl, how to do it a little bit. Needs to be rare to medium rare, anything over that. Take off your shoe and start eating it, bro, because you've overcooked. <laughs> you don't want to do that. So, but it was good. It was fun, and I love my camp chef, and can't wait to throw on a nice prime rib. And, and we're doing some too this Friday, right? We're doing a big uh, steak, chicken, and shrimp fajita cookout tomorrow. Kind of like Merry Christmas to the guys downstairs who do all the hard work. Why yeah. we get to set up a nice plush air conditioned and heated offices <laughs> while they're out in the cold warehouse and, and building your motors and, and uh, doing those kind of things. I went down there today, it was freaking freezing, man. It, it is cold, <laughs> so I keep a hoodie close to the door as I head out. I can throw it on before you go freeze to death. Right? Oh man, I feel bad for those guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Uh, and I see one here from Ron Hurst already. Hey, Ron. Um, he says I have a 4400 HDR and think I have a nick in a spark plug wire. Can you just the wire be replaced or do you have to change the coil too? That's a good question, Nick. I believe you've got to replace the whole coil. Um, probably what you can do to get by is just get some uh, plastic heat shrink that you can put on there or put a couple wraps of um, just black electrical tape until you can get that fixed. That'll keep you up and going and on the water while you still have a little hunting time left. I know we don't have much hunting no. time left here and <laughs> everything's freezing and there's a few ducks and that's about it. So yeah. that would be a good quick fix and then look into getting that repaired and replaced. Oh, definitely. Good answer. <clears throat> um, so Dallas Mit Mitchell is asking, is the Mud Buddy Diller page working? And I'm gonna go ahead and answer this. If Take it okay. away. All right, so the Mud Buddy Diller page is currently working right now. Um, we actually put up a whole new dealer page so it will work properly and show automatically who pops up for you. Um, one of the other things though too is on Facebook, if you're on Facebook right now, if you look on the bottom left hand side on the home page, it will say locations. If you actually click on that, it will pull up a dealer page so you can access the, the dealers right there just from social media too. Well, that'd be cool. Yeah. It'd be nice to do it at home when I'm answering questions and people's like, hey, where's my closest dealers? Like, Crap, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you can just go to the locations tab, get it done quicker. Um, they'll provide you with their email, main point of contact, um, really everything. So, Sweet. You guys have done a great job. Simplifying it, hopefully. So, um, so we have another one here. James says, I have a 14 HP HD Mini. How big of a top pulley can I run? How big could you run? You're probably running either a 28 or 32. I don't think you're going to be able to run much bigger than what you have just because you don't have enough room with the belt or the housing. So you're kind of limited to with what you have. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, so we'll go. We also have Benjamin Ferguson. I have a 5500 mag 
on the back of the F86 1754. Motor has less than 100 hours on it. Didn't use at all last year. Ran the river two days ago and the block is cracked on top. What are your thoughts on, um, be, on being about to weld it? Will it hold and why did it crack? I run three to four feet deep timber and not very hard on it compared to what you see on the um, others the old line. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't recommend welding it. You're basically, bro, unfortunately, you're gonna have to just replace the block. Um, as far as what could happen to it, there's quite a few different, quite a few things that could happen to it. So it's really hard to say what it was. A good person to uh, shoot a phone call to or an email would be our, our compadre, who's uh, getting his machine refixed, <laughs> uh, would be Micah because uh, he knows those motors inside out. He'd be able to help you out with probably diagnosing what happened to it and also um, get you the parts you need to get that thing back up and running. So his uh, email is Micah. It's M-I-C-A-H at mudbuddy.com. And his phone number is, you want to know, oh, there's 385-645-1871. Give him a call, bro. He's, he'd be the best one to help you out with that one because he's our motor guy and he's pretty much when it comes to a motor motor issue or problem or a question that I can't I can't answer I, I kick him over to my and, and he's good too I oh. mean he's got a lot of good reviews online he I've never heard any complaints from any customers no he does it. he does a good job because that's what he does yeah he just put tears them apart puts them back together and, and makes them run really really sick he may be a simple man but he knows what he's doing Amen. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. so let's get back on here all right Travis uh oh says, can you run that duck call on the table so we can hear, hear how good it sounds? Travis, I am not going to run that <laughs> duck call for you. Because, one, I can't. Because I hunt with people like with Travis. Uh, so why do I need to blow a call when you got a great call a call blower? Well, you don't want to get your mouth on this. No, you know? I'm going to give it to somebody, Travis. I can't <laughs> blow on that thing. I have some really nice echo calls that... I don't even know if I've ever blown them. They're still in, the, <laughs> still in my uh, box at home because I always hunt with people who do all that. So they're blowing it and I'm shooting them. Oh, so let them let them blow. See, that's me. I practice, but then when I go out, I'm just like, hey, let these guys blow, and I'll get these birds before they do. Yeah, yeah. Travis, we'll get even, bro. <laughs> Soon, trust me. <laughs> all right, um, Scott Garvin, love these information videos. Couldn't be happier with my 2017 HDR 4400 BD. What a beast! True, one of our one of our best motors. I mean, reliable, uh, just a good solid motor that our uh, friend Micah, who's working on his stuff, <laughs> he puts that together for you. So he does a good job. So no, thank that's, you. That's good. So what we're actually going to do, Scott, is we're going to actually go ahead and give you this echo call right here, um, the double um, timber reed right here, and this is sponsored by Echo Calls. Um, make sure to put a shout out to them because they've been generous with us and um, you know they love these videos and we want to make sure that we take care of you guys. So PM us um, after the video, your address and everything, we'll get it to you. Um, and James Hamilton, thanks for the answer guys. Love these live feeds. Thanks James. Yeah, thank you James. Travis Manning said laugh out loud, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't Travis, we just gave it away. I'm sure the the gentleman who's going to receive it doesn't want me to be blowing on <laughs> his duck call. <laughs> yeah. um, Joshua Dooley, um, PM me after this episode. Sorry, we've been super busy. PM me and I'll get you taken care of. Um, I'll even spice in that up for you too, bud. Well, sounds good. Spice it up. Yeah. <laughs> a little extra. Um, so Rob Howland, I have a 7,000 and have, have the bolts on the block cover have been redone. Um, I had about 24 hours since I started to leak oil again. Is there anything I can do to cut down the vibration? I heard that the new BPS exhaust and three blade would help. What are your thoughts? Also that skirt, that shirt looks nice. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a couple things you can do on that 7,000. A three blade prop will definitely take some of the vibration out of it. Um, the muffler also. Also what you can do too is go to a 
10.2 grade bolt on the back casing covers and use a red Loctite that kind of helps hold everything together. The bolts don't stretch because of the vibration of these motors. So um, yeah, three blade would help with the vibration yeah. and, and also going with those other bolts would help it too. Well, it doesn't also depend on too, what type are they running on? You know, like if it's sandy water, rocky. Yeah, it has a lot to do with it. And if your props out of balance, Bad props tear up a lot of stuff. <laughs> right. The back of your motors, your drive, they just vibrate. It. I believe so, it. yeah, and prop wear is something that people really underestimate. They're like, hey, my motor's not getting up on plane, it's not doing this. Well, measure your prop. Well, it's only 11 inches and it's supposed to be 12. Well, you've lost a lot and you need that. So you're gonna see, what you'll normally see when your prop's wearing out is you'll see higher RPMs and lower speed. So that's a really good indication of, I need a new prop. I know they're expensive, but man, without a good prop, it's really hard on yeah. the motor. No, it is. So um, Rob, who actually just asked that question, says, your shirt sure sucks. He was actually talking about this lucky. Hey, Rob, this, you're not going to get that shirt now, bro. <laughs> Sorry. This Lucky Duck shirt right here. Um, once again, from one of our sponsors, Lucky Duck, they sent this in for us. Um, go ahead and PM me your address, and I will go ahead and give that to you, bud. You're a lucky man. <laughs> Keith was trying to keep that for yourself. I was going to give yourself. you my shirt. <laughs> right? Keith is going to give away his shirt, and we're going to do autograph on it. So I just need 10 likes real quick on this video, and we'll donate it. <laughs> uh, Matt Jensen saying laugh out loud. So, all right, let's get back to this. Brent Durstein, what mods are on a 4500 Black Death motor? Bought one a month ago and really can't find anything. You're probably not going to be able to visually see what we do to those engines because basically what we've done is remove the heads off of the stock motor and um, done some modifications to the intake and exhaust and also put stainless steel um, valves in there. So it's all internal stuff that you can't see on that motor. So it's not something that says modified. It's inside. It's it's hidden. It, it's inside of it's it for a reason, though. For a reason, I, yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, do an exhaust, but that's... yeah, doing exhaust and a carburetor helps. But with the with the heads and that kind of stuff that you really can't physically see. I mean, if you pulled it all apart and looked at them, yeah, you would notice that they've been they've been machined and, and redone with new valves and stainless steel setup. But just visually looking at it, no, you're not going to really tell the difference. Yeah. Um, so we have another question here from Dallin. Are you guys going to be open for the holidays? Dallin, no we're not. <laughs> we need a break here. In my Amen. Mind. Maybe Amen. I need to break. <laughs> Amen. But yeah, no, we won't be. We'll be gone Friday afternoon tomorrow, and we'll be back on December 2nd, I think, on Tuesday. January. Oh, January. What Come saying? on. Jeez, December, man. man. December. <laughs> well, thinking about next year. Already. Right. Yeah. No, so we'll, we'll be home enjoying the holidays with... With our families so um, and if you guys do have like dying important questions and things like that I will be on social media I won't be able to get to all of them because I also will be hunting and be trying to do this so um, you know best of luck <laughs> and I'll, I'll do the same I'll kind of kind of watch through it so if there's anything that has to be done how I can you know I'll help out how I can not yeah. having access to all the stuff that we have here at the shop no exact tools and computers. Um, Trent Waterford, um, is there a catalog of your motors? I don't know. Is there a catalog of our motors? There is not. But what you can do is you can go to A, there's a sign up button on our Facebook page that you can sign up for the email. Or B, you can go to the website and you can sign up for our email there. In our emails, we go literally over everything. Um, you know, like right now, we even got a Cabela's gift card that we're doing right now if you buy a motor. Um, we send those out. Um, we actually let you know about our podcast, what's going on here. A lot of great information. Um, and we're not really throwing a bunch of emails at you guys, so you guys really don't have to worry about that. Oh, well, we're know? not like some of those other places. No, we, we <laughs> Jeff um, Jeffrey Whitlock actually manages, and he does a really great job with it because he doesn't want to bug people. Because I get emails, and I get pissed. You know, I'm like, delete, block. <laughs> don't do it. Leave me alone. But... We try to be, you know, just sh share important information when we can, um, and that's another way of getting it. Um, 
And uh, let's go here. Bill Nagy, I have an 1854 with a 4200 black depth, three persons, two big blades, Aber blind, 72 decoys with Texas, right? Which of the new three pops would work? You got quite a load there, bro. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking, does your motor push that big old load? You could, the three blade props, if you go to with either one of the three blade props, you're probably going to have to do some gearing change on the motor to kind of gear it down a little bit to get it to spin, especially the Raptor. You'll definitely have to do some gearing change. It'll work, but you just don't expect to buy it bolted on and, and a miracle to happen. You're going to have to do probably a gearing change on the lower drive unit to get that thing to to push that load i'm i'm impressed that it's pushing that load. I, I was when he said that in i was like i don't know about that, that one guys. that's a big load but how many duck hunters don't overload their boat <laughs> yeah no i some of the images that you guys send in which we love and keep sending them to us because we'll share them but some of the images i see i'm just like man is that a family on the boat like what like i'm impressed sometimes um, so Chad Bream, what I want you to do is go ahead and PM me. Same thing. We were busy last week, got overwhelmed. Um, it's the end of the year and we're trying to catch up on things. PM us through Facebook, uh, with your address and your name and, uh, we'll get you taken care of on that, bud. Um, now, uh, Quinn Campbell, what is the difference between the original HDR and the HDR 4400 black depth? That's a good question. Um, I don't know, because the 44 HDR, we have the Black Death, which is the carbureted version, and then we have the EFI. So I'm not really sure where he's going with the original HDR versus the HDR Black Death. We do the HDR also in a 35. Um, it's just motor sizes, basically. All of our units run on the same frames. It's just basically different motors is all we're putting on them. Yeah, so I'm not really sure where he wants to go with the original Ford HDR versus the HDR 44 Black Death. So what's the difference between the EFI and the and the car and the Black Death? The yeah. Black Death is our carbureted version. So it's, you've got a 42 millimeter Makuni carburetor. You've got Iron Mountain heads, and you also have the Q muffler. Um, that's our Black Death. The EFI is a fuel injected motor that Briggs puts out. Um, starts out as a 37. We do some light modifications on the heads and stuff and then turn it into a 44. And with our 44, you don't need to run any type of fuel controllers or any other type of modifications. It runs and meets Briggs factory specs. So you don't oh, have wow. to run anything else. So you get good power, good reliability without having to put on a bunch of other things. And there's a ton of other accessories and high performance stuff that they can do to the motor besides that. So. No, that's awesome. I love the 4400. So, I mean, that's basically what we go out on all the time. And it's it would be piece. nice to be able to go out on one of those, wouldn't it? <laughs> Four guys worked here 10 years and hasn't, hasn't been. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Hopefully, we can have Glenn and we just take the whole company out. That would be, that would and, be cool. and then Glenn will give us all the free belt and motor, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You haven't worked here very long. No. <laughs> Right. Um, Corbin Wilcox says BPS will be open during the holiday season. Who? Corbin? Oh, Corbin. yeah, I know that guy too. Well, I don't. I don't know about that guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, cool. Is there anything else on there, Jeff? No, that's all I'm seeing right now. All right, great. So we're gonna go ahead and end this here for you guys here today. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please send them in to us. Remember about the holidays. We will be closed. Okay. Um, we'll be closed from Friday in the afternoon all the way to January 2nd. You can, might be able to get a hold of us via social media if you send in a message. Um, also, make sure to rem remember that on the bottom left-hand side on Facebook where it says locations, you can click that locations button and find the dealer page on there. Um, and uh, yeah, other besides that, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, um, and have a great New Year. And remember, your New Year resolution is a new mud buddy. There you go. All right. All right, guys. You guys have a great holiday. We'll see you later.